Now, of course, one of the last places to see human development is going to be New Zealand, and New Zealand is going to be home to the Maori. Again, ancestor images are going to be particularly key here. And we're going to be looking at their meeting houses, which was meant to demonstrate the primacy of their ancestral connections. These meeting houses tie them back to the ancestors and do so both in the art that we see, the very obvious art that we see, as well as through its form. The entire body is the body of an ancestor, representative of the body of an ancestor to these people. The central roof beam acts as a spine. The rafters are seen as the ribs. And so the people moving around the meeting house become really the heartbeat of these ancestors. And this is their understanding of the building, the uh, the way that they understand their world. So we're actually going to look at the Matea Toa, Mate Tua uh, meeting house. My pronunciations are not always great, I apologize. So ancestors are a potent presence uh, in these relief panels. The elaborate curvilinear designs cut in may actually represent tattoos, and they may be the tattoos of specific ancestors. The space between uh, these large panels features these stitched lattice panels in between, which we see here, for example. And if you've seen the movie Moana, they had something similar, although it had very different sort of purpose. So we see these stitched forms in between the larger columns, in between the ribs. We also see intricate paintings covering the rafters. In the center, we see ridge poles that feature more ancestral sculpture. So this is obviously not actually an ancestor. This is representative of an ancestor. Uh, unless your ancestor is a lizard people and Dever David Icke isn't that popular in New Zealand. Uh, but these are representative of the ancestors. Some of them may be highly individualized. Uh, some of them are more based on a pattern. Like here we have a similar form, but each one has its own individual identity. These two hold clubs, the tongues go in different directions, the form of the eyes is slightly different. In the center we have ridge poles that will feature uh, these sculptures as well. The persistent use of pattern and ancestral images provide a charged and energetic space, a space filled with these ancestral spirits, exactly the kind of place where you might recharge or have a community meeting, bringing the power of the ancestors into your decision making. 